I'm no fan of the sun, but it would be better than this. Not that often, really. Being a daughter of Cold Harbor, I can go without blood longer than other vampires. That, and I can also rest to regain my energy. It doesn't fully satiate the appetite, but it staves off hunger for a while. So, don't worry. I won't go feral on you or anything, just because I haven't had a daily meal. I also read stories. There was supposedly a vampire in Akavir, which never fed in her entire... life? Or... whatever you call it. Supposedly, she even protected mortals from her own kind. Yeah, actually. I was just thinking about some alchemical principles. Comprehension, destruction, and reconstruction. You first need to understand the structure of what you're trying to transmute. Like, what wheat is made out of, and how those properties fit into making a health potion. Then, there's deconstruction. You break down the wheat into a more malleable state, along with the other ingredients. Finally, there's reconstruction. You use the energy and materials created from the deconstruction to make what you're trying to make. Like, the health potion. Well... Back before I... You know... The College of Winterhold was the, the first I place it, I think to go Ulfric's for any kind fighting of a magical holy war. historical thing. Honestly? I thought about using illusion magic to make me seem more... alive. I just want people to see me as more of an... a missable human, not a daughter of Cold Harbor. At least I don't have to worry about that around you. You accept me for who I am, and for that, I am grateful. Stay sharp. We have oh, it's on. Ah. Hell yeah! Do you need something? Not much, because there isn't really anything to do when you live on an island. And yes, on rare occasions I did travel to Skyrim with my father, on business. By which I mean intimidation, scheming, bribery, blackmail, an execution or two, you know, your typical chores of a Valkyhar patriarch. And he did teach me some of those skills, if you could put it that way. But I didn't really do anything fun for the most part. I definitely didn't have a normal childhood. I guess that's what you get for being a follower of Molag Bal. Though... Besides the typical gardening and reading, I also did sing quite a bit. I wasn't nearly good enough to join the Bard's College, but I was pretty decent at it, and it made me feel less lonely. Tell you what, give me some time to warm up a bit on the side, and maybe I'll sing something for you. So, what do you want to talk about? I've never been here before, until I met you at least. I'd read stories about the Solitude Windmill, but I didn't expect it to be that big. The moment I met you, I could sense some kind of power, unique and unlike anything I've seen before. Turns out you have the blood of gods coursing through your veins. You should also know that I do not appreciate being shouted at. You probably don't feel it, but just try not to hit me the next time we get into a fight with some people, okay? I definitely wouldn't want to be hurled halfway across the continent of Tamriel. Are you even taking this seriously? I also wouldn't like to accidentally drain you to a pulp. Good. Glad we sorted that one out. I was just thinking about Winterhold. When I was last there, it wasn't so... crumbly. It used to be a sprawling city. Everything being torn down, the whole place looking, well... dead. 
In fact, back in my day, the College of Winterhold would be the first place anyone would go for any kind of magic or historical thing. I hope you like it. It's a special thing for you. Hey, I'm glad you're here with me. Oh, what is it? Look, I love you, but I'm not going to like gifts like this. What is it? You know, I've always been very fond of my mother's garden. Such beauty, nurtured by a master for centuries. It really showed, didn't it? Sorry. I must have gotten carried away. It's just... My childhood wasn't all bad, you know? There was some good in it, for sure. I can't say I particularly like wars. Yet another war of succession. At least things didn't get boring while I was gone. When I was locked away, Cyrodiil wasn't even the seat of an empire. And Skyrim... Sometimes it's hard to even fathom how much this world has changed. And what was it? The Oblivion Crisis? I would have never expected the Daedra to invade Tamriel again. I certainly hope Molag Bal doesn't host another plane meld. That would be... dreadful. Thanks. But honestly, I don't think any Daedra would consider invading ever again. They got their hides tanned. Turns out a bunch of Nawaz shouldn't be underestimated. It's a term the Dunmer used to describe mortals. It has a negative connotation, but, well, that's kind of the point of what I was saying. And, yes, I've heard stories about the Last Septum turning into a dragon to fight Mehrun's Dagon, but Martin Septum couldn't... he couldn't have done it alone. I got reacquainted with the current world as soon as I got back to the castle. Well, at least I know the basics. Not that much. But still. What now? Hmm. It does feel kind of... normal. But that's from me, speaking as a vampire. Even as I'm... undead, or however you put it, I still do feel like a normal person, mostly. I still breathe, feel, and sleep. Except now I just have a great desire for blood. And the sun kind of irritates my skin. These symptoms are rather mild, though. Not like other vampires who almost burn in the sunlight. So, I'm really just like you mortals in many ways. Hopefully that makes me more relatable. Growing up back on the island, I barely left the castle. Most of my knowledge from the outside world came from books. However, most of even that is sadly out of date by at least several centuries. Talk about a fish out of water. That's why I need you to show me around this wonderful land. Be a good guide for this old relic. Yes? Sure thing. Do you want to have it standing here, or do you want to find a seat first? All right. Now, on to the drinks. Do you want to have mead, wine, or just plain milk? Oh, I see. Now, let's see what I have here. I procured these in Riften the last time I was there. First, we have the Cliff Racer. Firebrand wine, Cyrodiilic brandy, 
Flynn and Sujama. A drink for the daring. Next up, we have some Dragon's Breath Mead. A drink worthy of someone as fiery as you are. Then, there's the Velvet La Chance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe in moderate amounts. Let's drink up the heat. Likewise. Sometimes, I kind of wish that we weren't so... How do you say this? Well, renowned. At this point, most of Skyrim has heard of your name, and half of it is trying to kill us. It seems like it's almost impossible to have a nice, leisurely stroll outside city walls without getting prounced upon or attacked. If we could, I would like to just leave here, you know? Travel to some distant place, settle down, live the peaceful life. Not to be known or seen as heroes or great warriors, but as simple country folk, really. Hmm... I was just thinking about some alchemical principles. Comprehension, destruction, and reconstruction. You first need to understand the structure of what you're trying to transmute. Like, what wheat is made out of, and how those properties fit into making a health potion. Then there's deconstruction. You break- You know, life could always be better. Fewer people out to get me. Skies without dragons. Skyrim's weather. <sighs> oh well, won't even get started on that one. But I'm still grateful for two things in my life. Good books and good wine. Well, all right, maybe three things. Good books, wine, and you. I do, actually. You may think it's kind of weird, but I enjoyed playing with the rats by our castle Undercroft. That became my own little hideout for a while. Where I'd go to when I just wanted some peace and quiet. It was also near the sea. Even when I became a vampire, I still did enjoy the breeze and fresh air. Anything natural and calm, really. Just to get me away from all that was happening at my home with my father. Usually when he was in a bad mood. You could have waited a bit longer. So, what do you want to talk about? Well, back before I... you know. The College of Winterhold was the first place acting to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Soul trapping, summoning Daedra, messing with the mortal realm, or even creating love potions. And no, I do not consent to any potion or mind-altering thing to be done to me. I prefer to be myself, thank you very much. Though, I would like to see if we could give a potion to Camilla, and have her love both Fendel and Sven. Actually, never mind. That was a terrible idea. Sometimes the danger tendencies in me just think of these really stupid things. Hmm? It still feels kind of weird, waking up after thousands of years, even at this point. Just thinking about an empire in Cyrodiil. I definitely thought everything would end with the Remens. Hey, so... I don't think this inn has beds for the both of us. It's alright. I'll just wait here. <laughs>